Hi, and welcome to In-House Digital Publishing, um, home of IHDP version 2.0. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and show you how simple and easy it is to create a digital edition using IHDP version 2.0. So the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and start a new project, then browse and select a PDF file, double click, and select import. All right, and once IHDP has successfully imported your PDF file, it's now time to go ahead and make your customization choices. Uh, you just have four uh, side tabs to consider, four drop-down tabs to consider. So I'm just going to go ahead and begin with general settings and place a title here. I'm going to go ahead and call this IHDP Sample 1, Language Default English, Introduction Page None, Help URL, the default is just fine. Uh, in order to go ahead and select our table of contents, let's review uh, where our table of contents is located uh, right uh, directly to our digital edition. I see it's on page three, so I'm going to go to table of contents, uh, select page, go to page, and then page three. Uh, pages and advertisers, we don't have to go ahead and address anything there. Uh, you may notice that uh, IHDP version 2.0 is featuring our new and improved easy view interface, so you get to see all the customization choices that you make in real time. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, go to general appearance, and let's select a color for the background that sort of makes sense. Uh, you might notice that there is a dynamic gradient effect that you're able to create for your background image, and I'm going to go ahead and do a copy on the color choice that I made for the background color and also apply that to my button color as well as my toolbar color just to go ahead and get a little bit of color consistency there. Uh, same thing for my default bookmark color. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my button skin a square. If you had wanted to, you would have been able to insert our company logo here and even go ahead and possibly modify that footer text and have a point to a specific URL. Now under features, uh, IHDP selects virtually all the features by default and has them be enabled. So it makes the digital edition very fun and dynamic and interactive for your audience. And let's go to advanced settings and we're almost done creating our digital edition. If we had a Google Analytics account ID, we place it here. The only modification I'm gonna make is I'm gonna select maximum zoom level and make that go 10 times. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to file, select save project as, because you can save your work as you go. So I'm going to call this IHDP Sample 1. Select Save. I've now saved my project. And now I can go ahead and select File Publish. When I select File Publish, I get a pop-up window. Let me go ahead and select a destination path. I'm going to call mine IHDP Output Folder. And my edition title name is uh, selected as IHDP Sample 1. It's published HTML, which means it's going to create an online edition. Now I select Publish. The digital edition gets published very quickly. A folder gets generated. That folder you will upload and host. We can go ahead and open that folder and check out the files and folders that equal our digital edition. Uh, or we can always go ahead and select Mini Flipper. Double click on our Mini Flipper which is just a fun and dynamic flipping GIF file that's a mini representation of our larger digital edition and we can copy and paste that, embed it on our website or pop it into an email and send it out. Alright, so we're going to select Done. IHDP version 2.0 creates a, a web-based solution for the iPhone, iPad, Blackberry, and Droid. I thank you so very much for your time in under three minutes we've created a digital edition. Uh, please go ahead and enjoy the 30-day trial.